BC's Ombudsperson is calling out the Ministry of Children and Family Development, saying it hurt a former youth in care's chances of going to university, and it refuses to pay her for its mistake. Surely this ministry should embrace the approach of continuous improvement, and when shortcomings are identified, they're acted upon. That's not been the case here. In a report called Misinformed, Jay Chalk says a young woman named Alexandra was taken into ministry care because she lived in an abusive home and put into her aunt's permanent custody by court order in 2014. Alexandra's lifelong dream was to get a post-secondary education. Her aunt emphatically asked the ministry social worker if the order was made, uh, whether Alexandra, Alexandra would continue to receive or would receive government support. During his investigation, Chalk's office obtained internal ministry emails showing that social worker gave her the wrong information, leading Alexandra to believe she was eligible for government support for university worth tens of thousands of dollars. But she was told she couldn't get that money because she and her aunt accepted the court custody order. Chalk says no one told them it was completely voluntary. He says another grant has helped her pay for some courses, but she can't finish them because of her financial difficulties. Chalk says despite his report, the ministry hasn't accepted responsibility for the mistake. It won't pay her and won't look to see if the same thing has happened to others, too. Alexandra's best interests were definitely not protected in this case, and I'm concerned there may be others uh, who are in the same situation. In a statement to City News, Minister Mitzi Dean said in part, we will be reviewing the ombudsperson's report in detail to fully understand what went wrong when Alexandra sought advice from the ministry in 2015 and how we can avoid this in the future. But Chalk says the ministry did accept two recommendations from the ombudsperson, ensuring government staff connect youth with legal advice, something Alexandra didn't get, according to Chalk. In Vancouver, Kirjunos, City News.